Welcome to month seven of our block of the month, and this is the block that we're going to be making this month. So let's go ahead and get started. And the first thing that we're going to do is kind of make some subunits, and we are going to make the quarter square triangles. So we're starting with some of our larger pieces, and I'm going to line up a white and a navy piece, and I have a diagonal line drawn and I'm going to sew on each side of that and I have two pieces to sew okay and then I'm going to line up my next piece and do the same thing both sides of that line Okay, so that one's done. And another thing that I know I have to do is to do a square and a square unit with some of these, the corner triangles where we're gonna um, sew on exactly on the line. And I'm gonna go ahead and piece those in between these as well, just so then I, I'm kind of chain piecing, I'm not cutting my thread. But on these, I'm sewing exactly on that drawn line. Okay, and this one is sewn on both sides, so I'm going to go ahead and just cut on that drawn line. It does not have to be perfect. This is inside your seam allowance, but you can um, definitely use a rotary cutter to trim it if you prefer. And so now I'm going to sew this side. And trim this one off. Okay, so I've sewn that one, and with the, the square and the square, we're going to go ahead and do opposite corners that we're adding first, and then we will trim these, press it, and then add the other two. So, I'm again, on this unit, I'm sewing exactly on that line. Okay, and I can... Um, I'm just going to trim these off quarter inch away from the seam. Again, it's kind of a seam allowance thing, so it doesn't have to be super perfect. And then we'll press that and then our, add our other two pieces. And then again on this second piece, I'm just cutting exactly on the line. And then let's give everything a good press. Let's give these a press. So this one here, I'm gonna just kind of set the seam and press towards the outer triangle like that. So that part is done and then we'll come back and add the other two sides on. And then on our half square triangle units here, I'm gonna go ahead and just set the seam and then press that to the Navy on all of these. I'm going to press to that darker fabric And then these are going to be made into quarter square triangle units and so they are Sized much larger and then we'll trim them down Once we get them together, so Okay, so I've got all those done and they're still a little hot so um I am going to go ahead now and I'm going to take two pieces and I'm going to line them up so that the seams nest. So I am making sure that my dark on this top piece is touching the white here and the white is touching the dark here. And now I've pressed towards the dark so when I line these up on top of one another I can feel that seam in there and I'm making sure it's pressed and pushed right up to the next seam. So if you can see that here, let me turn it a little bit. So when I pull this up, this is gonna give you an idea of what our unit's gonna look like after it's stitched. So we want these two to be right next to each other, like that. So 
And again, you can just, you can feel that to make sure that it's just sitting in there nicely. And then we're going to draw a line. And then we're going to stitch on a quarter inch on each side of that line. So we have that unit ready. And then we've got one more to do that on. So again, we're just going to snug our seams right into each other there. And I'm just kind of making sure that the edges are lined up. All right, and then I'm drawing my diagonal line. And you know that you're doing it the right way because you are going, half of your line is on the white and half is on the navy, so you're going perpendicular to that seam that you had sewn. You definitely, you know, if you tried to draw your line here, your seam's already there. So it's the side where your seam you do not have a seam already sewn. Okay, hope that makes sense. So let's go stitch on those. We're gonna stitch on each side of this drawn line. Okay, so there's one, and I've got my second one here. Again, I'm just making sure they're lined up. And it's helpful if you want to put a pin in those to help hold it in, in place. But again, I use lots of starch, and I've kind of pressed them, and they do just kind of grab to each other, and I'm not really worried about it shifting. I'm cut this one off. Finish sewing that, and then I'm going to flip this one and sew on the other side. Trim that one, and now I'm going to work on this piece a little bit. And so I'm going to line up that blue square right in the corner. And then on this, I'm stitching exactly on that line. And this one's done and we have one more side of this one to sew on okay and then one more corner to add here so I'll line that up right in that corner and then stitch on that line Okay, that looks good. And now we can trim our units apart. I'm gonna cut right on that drawn line for the quarter square triangles. And we'll just do a little check here and see. Oh, that looks good. And again, these are size bigger, so we'll trim them down. And then I'll cut these apart. and then trim off these extra corners here a quarter inch away from the seam. Okay, that looks good. We can do a little test on that and then we can see we've got our square and a square. All right, let's press those. So I'm gonna set my seam and then I'm gonna roll that back towards the blue outer triangle that we added. I'm going to do the same on the other side. And just give that a good press. I'm going to put a clapper on that just while it's sitting there. That kind of helps flatten the seams a little bit better too. And then we're going to go ahead and open up these quarter square triangle units that we've done. Oh, looks good. Okay, so let's press those. And then we've got to trim those up. Okay, so those are pressed. Now we have to trim them. And they are oversized. 
And that just gives us, a, it in, kind of ensures that we're making the unit exactly the size that we want it to be. When we make it a little bit bigger and then trim it down, we can make sure our points, our corners are right where they're supposed to be so that those seams do come out exactly on the corner. So it kind of is a little bit forgiving when you're sewing because we know we're going to trim it down. So I'm using this Tucker Trimmer Ruler and I'm going to trim all four sides. And this ruler is nice because it has lines going in each direction so I can put them exactly where those seams are. But you can use a regular ruler, just use one of the um, Usually they'll have a line going one direction of a 45 degree angle and you can just draw another one on there. And you can use a Sharpie to uh, just draw another line. And then when you're done with this project and you don't need those extra lines, you can just use like hand sanitizer and just wipe it off. Okay, so I'm gonna trim two sides and you can see we're taking about on mine, it's about an eighth of an inch that's coming off. And then turn the block, line it up again to the size that we need it to be, and then trim the other sides. Okay, so there's our perfectly sized trimmed unit. And let's just do the rest of those here. Got to make sure all the lines are lined up. Okay, so we've got four of those units trimmed up, and we have one more step that we're going to take with those. We're going to trim them one more time, and then this gives us kind of that floating effect with the little tri triangle along our center square. Let me show you on this vlog. So this here is the quarter square triangle that we made, but we're gonna cut off a little bit off of one side, so then it becomes an uneven and it gives us that little pop of that diamond um, accent in there without having to cut little triangles and trying to do you know a lot of math to make that all work out. We're just doing it with a quarter square triangle and then trimming it down and then it'll make that cool effect in our block, so. Okay, and on this we want to make sure that we are trimming off along the white long edge. So that's the piece that we want to cut off. You wanna make sure when we're positioning our ruler to do our trim that we are looking at the navy is at the top and the bottom, and then we are cutting off the larger white side. So just refer to the pattern for the exact size that you'll need to trim, so then our unit's gonna look like that. And we're gonna do that on all of them. So again, make sure your navy is at the top and the bottom, and we're just trimming off one side of the white piece. Okay, navy's on the top and the bottom. Line it up. So I know it's it's kind of, um, all right, our navy's there. 
we trim them all down to get the right size and then we come back and trim them to get this size and we the reason we want to make sure that we are trimming all four sides first to get it to our block size and then trim it down is so that we've got the right amount of fabric on each side here um, it just it adds an extra step of cutting but it's okay because we know that everything's lined up exactly where it's supposed to be so go ahead and trim that okay so then we have all of our pieces to start laying out our block and let me move this out of the way and we'll grab our board with everything on it okay and here you just want to refer to the pattern to go ahead and lay it out but we know that this is going to be our center block and then I'm laying these out so just the smaller white triangle is touching the center so it looks like that that has such a neat effect on it and then we've got four corner square units here that we're going to have to piece together so we'll lay those out and the navy is going to be going there first so it touches these two navy pieces and then a little red piece goes right in the corner and then we're going to add this light blue rectangle to each side to finish off that little four patch so the light blue is going to go to the outer edge on both sides okay so there is our block laid out and let's go ahead and we'll piece that together now we're going to work on our little corner pieces to make it into a unit it's right now four pieces we're going to sew that together into a little four patch and then that corner piece will be done so we'll go ahead and work on those Okay, and I'm just picking them up off the design board, working around the block to make sure I get them all sewn together. And then I'm just gonna do a finger press here at the machine, and I'm making that seam press towards the light blue. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just finish off this four patch line it up so it looks like this and then those seams will just set right next to each other and then just keep going around we got to make four of those units and give it another finger press and there's what that looks like. ahead and press those units so they'd be flat and I when that seam where I joined them I did go ahead and press that open because I think they're gonna lay a little bit nicer um, it kind of reduces some of the bulkiness in the seam and then I'm just gonna put them back on my design board so I know I've got them oriented the correct way and then we're just gonna piece our block together like a nine patch so grab two I'm gonna make them into rows and then sew those rows together. So here's the center part. And we'll just line up all the edges. Feel free to use pins if you like.
I've pressed the block and we can go ahead and add on the borders now and on those I just pressed those um, to the out sides or I guess it would be the top and bottom on those seams but feel free if it if you like the way it lays flatter or you can press them open just whatever you prefer and then we'll line these up and attach these borders ready to start with the applique and on this block we made two that are exactly the same so they both have the same layout as far as the color placement so it doesn't matter which one you pick to do the applique on for our circle shape and on this one it's going to take off just a small corner of that red square so when we're orienting our circular shape onto our block to get ready to applique, just kind of maybe eyeball that a little bit and make sure you've got about the same amount that you're stitching off that corner there. And then I just try to center it the best I can, making sure I've got about the same amount on each side from that seam to the outer circle edge okay that looks good and then I'm gonna pin that in place because we don't want that to shift and then we're just gonna do our straight stitch and stitch exactly on that drawn line all the way around Here are both of the completed blocks, and that completes this month. Thanks for watching.